topic of this screencast is alignment of the body text across the spread or through the page, uh, sometimes known as backup. In other words, uh, we want to make sure that the lines of the body text um, align across the spread. And also when we look through the paper, I mean, the paper being very slightly transparent, uh, we want to make sure that the, um, the text coincides through the paper so that we don't get a, a, an unfortunate shadow between the lines. Um, as I say, this is sometimes called backup. Now you can see in the example I've got on the screen at the moment, if I just drag a uh, construction line down um, somewhere here, you can see that um, that blue line, I can't line it up across the spread. It's not aligning the, the, the baseline of the text. Um, and this is simply because um, we have uh, these headings, uh, which of course are sort of interfering with the uh, uh, with, with, with the alignment of the text um, uh, as it appears across the page. So you can see at the moment that if I go to my um, my paragraph, my basic paragraph style, and look at the basic character formats, you can see here that we've got a 9.5 point uh, size um, of the of the of the typeface, but we're also using a leading of 13 point, and that's what's determining at the moment the space between the lines of text. Um, so. In order to try to align this, what we actually need to do is we need to use um, something in here called a line to grid. Now, the question is, what does that really mean? So I'm just going to cancel that for a moment because we're going to show you um, by going to view um, under grids and guides, we're going to show the baseline grid. Now you can see I've already got a baseline grid set here. Um, but nothing is aligned to it. Now, where is that baseline grid set? Well, um, interestingly enough, there are two different alternatives to this. You can set the baseline grid under the preferences for InDesign. Uh, if we go to grids, you'll see that I've got a baseline grid of 14 points, so incremented every 14 points. That's the lines that you're seeing currently over here uh, on my on my panel. Um, now I'm just going to leave it like that for the moment. The other way that you can do it optionally um, is by selecting the text box. This text box here you can see I've selected it. And then go to object and go to text frame options and then we can set the baseline options here um, so we can have a baseline grid and then we can use that here so I can actually set that uh, set that up here. I'm not going to do that because I want to set the whole document um, and, and use the preferences for InDesign. But this is this is one thing that you can do. Uh, setting, in other words, the the, the 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 text box to have its own uh, baseline grid, baseline grid, and you can set that. So now, if I go back to my paragraph styles, my basic paragraph styles, and go to indents and spacing. And now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, take the all lines here I'm taking all lines to the baseline grid okay and now you can see this I've only done this one uh, paragraph here at the moment I need, I've got two different kinds of paragraphs here I've got the uh, the first line first paragraph in after the heading and I've got the basic paragraph so one is based on the other so you can see what's happened is that I've actually got this aligned on the baseline so that is now what's determining it, but obviously we have another thing to consider, and that is uh, we need to make sure that our um, our text, our, he our headings are also aligned correctly. Now I'm just I just see that I've actually changed this accidentally. That should be a second level heading. Now the second level heading that we're showing at the moment, I'm now going to make that aligned by just the first line only. OK, so now that sits nicely just above the text um, that it is heading. So, yeah, so that's basically the answer. Uh, that's the way that we align the text to the baseline.